So let's take a look at our uh, baked uh, proofing levels. Uh, so here we've got underproofed. Uh, you can see that it is much smaller in shape. Uh, it did not open up very nicely. It did retain its shape, which is, I suppose, good. Um, but uh, because of the proof level, it also uh, chose to burst on the side here. Okay, um, so really, really tight, closed, feels dense. Uh, this is our properly proofed one. You can see this just looks very, very nice. It opened up nicely. It's got good shape and good height. Uh, and then this is our overproof. So we can see that it uh, really just became very flat, didn't open up nicely, weren't able to score it nicely at all. Um, and if you notice also, it's, it had a trouble getting color. Uh, and that's because when you're fermenting, you're eating up your available sugar in your dough. So if you've got a very light color, that means you didn't really have any sugars left in the dough to caramelize. Uh, so that is an indication of it there as well, aside from the uh, obvious aesthetic of it. Um, so when we cut these things open, we can see Okay, so we can see that this one, uh, very tight, very dense, uh, kind of gummy almost. Uh, this one, nice, open, very light, fluffy, and soft, which is great. And really like the texture difference here is, is pretty remarkable. Okay, so like very, very firm, nice and soft. And then we've got our uh, overproofed one uh, that really just didn't retain its shape at all, but uh, quite open there. Okay, so, uh, you know, you got your uh, under, proper, and overproofed breads, and uh, hopefully this will give you a little bit better direction in your baking. Mm -hmm.